Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Um, last Sunday I went to the expo, um, uh, Reptile Expo, and <coughs> got a whole lot of cool new additions. Um, where to start really? Um, yeah, let's start, if you guys remember, about a week ago I had a um, unboxing, and in that unboxing I had a DOA, um, a dead on arrival. Um, so I went to the, the table that he had at the Reptile Show and um, like we agreed he, he had a replacement for the DOA. It's uh, the beauty is in here but you won't be able to see it um, at the moment. His leg is right there or her leg. Um, it's the um, Slino, no, Orphanaceous species Kakita Ball. Um, I'm gonna hope it's gonna. I'm hoping it's gonna be a female. And if you guys remember, there was a um, tarantula missing from the shipment. And um, the tarantula I ordered was a Neo Holofele and say a gold form sling. Now, like I said in the video, I was sure that he was gonna make it up to me, and he did. Cause what did he do? He gave me. A Neo Holotele and say gold sexed female. So I paid for a sling, he forgot to include it, um, and with everything that happened, he made it up to me by giving me a female. Not only did he give me a Neo Holotele and say gold female, where I ordered a, uh, a sling, I also got myself a um, let's see, we can... A Hoplopelma species Big Black. Well, they are a Serial Cosmos species Big Black, but it's an old label, I guess. Um, he gave me that one for free. And um, I went ahead and got me this one. Pocleteria Formosa. And he gave me that for the half of the money that he was selling it so he really really made it up to me um, the way I'm gonna do this is I've got a whole lot of more new additions coming um, that I'm gonna show you guys trust me but the way I'm gonna do this I'm gonna rehouse these additions and then I'm gonna show you the next ones um, so one moment I'm gonna press pause make everything ready for the rehouse and see you in a second Okay, I'm back. So this is the enclosure I've got ready for the Orphanaceous Species Kakita Ball. Um, I did not make a starter burrow and <laughs> for the simple reason I did it with some other species and some other tarantulas and they didn't use it. Um, so I decided not to make a starter burrow and um, just let's see what she's gonna do. Um, it's very basic, just a lot of dirt, cocoa fiber, I've got some per um, perlite and vermiculite mixed in. Some moss on top, a water bowl obviously, and uh, a fake plant just for me, I guess. So, um, let's see if she would be willing to cooperate a bit. Which I'm thinking she won't. But we'll see. I hope you guys can see what is happening. Um, I got a whole lot of catch cups ready and that kind of stuff. So Okay, we got some movement over here. Ooh. That little bugger is fast. As lightning. <laughs> um, okay.
there the tarantula is. I will use my. There it is at the red point. Um, okay, it is in. Um, let me see if I can give you a better view of it. I'll have to do it like this, I guess. So there it is, Orphanation species Kakita ball. Not that pretty, um, but uh, when she grows up to be an adult, she's going to be very pretty. All right, on to the next. Okay, next up is Neoholotale Inse gold female. Um, I I knew obviously that the orphanation was going to be quick, but it still got a bit surprised by its speed. It's really really fast, um, and I see it racing through its cage at the moment. Um, but anyways, um, as we all know, the um, Neoholotale Inse gold um, is a really fast range light as well. So. I'm gonna try something a little bit different with this one. I'm gonna try to get it into this file and then get it into its new enclosure um, somehow. I will give you a better view of it. Here she is, really stunning. Okay, so part one done. Now for part two. Now, you might call me a sissy for doing it this way, but oh, I thought it was going to run out, really. Oh, uh, okay. Um, let's do it something different. <laughs> of course, now it doesn't want to come out. Um, where's my poker? Here it is. Okay, so let's see if we can get it back in. And she is in. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so this is actually the first time I think that I stayed calm when the trench is trying to escape. So that's a really good thing. Alrighty then. Awesome. So, on to the next. 
So next up is the oh, let's see, Pope the at Formosa. Um, now of course these are pretty fast, um, as they are Pope the I'm not sure if I should do it kind of the same way as I did with the other one. I think I do. Um, so. <laughs> I was actually kind of hoping it would fit in and as you can see there are holes so I could poke it out if need be but okay let me try it this way Okay, that didn't work exactly as planned. One moment. Okay, so I got it in. There it is. So let's bring back the enclosure she's gonna go in. Uh, like that, I guess. A little bit more this side. Yes. Let's see if she's willing to play. And she's in. And now I can't find the lid. Oh, here it is. Um, she is right there. You can see their legs. All right. Another successful rehouse. On to the next. All right, um, I did rehouse the cereal pack up a species like uh, big black, um, but um, I didn't record it. I'm very sorry. It's in the top, um, right there. So I did make a starter burrow for this one because it's a sling and it's in there. Let's see if we can see it from here. There it is, tiny small thing. It's not black or big yet. But it will get there. All right, on to the next. Um, the next three rehouses are um, new additions from the same guy I got the Modus, Ent Modus Entropis Balfouri from. So here we go. Okay, so this is the one I'm really, really, really excited about. This is the Harpactera Cafe Rihanna, and she is a subadult female. And she is probably in primal and um, judging by her body length, she should be a mature female after this next mold. So very, very excited about this one. Um, you don't see these too often in the hobby yet. Um, maybe as slings, but especially not as sub-adult females or adult females. Um, sexed females, not even as juveniles, whatever. So really really excited about this one i'm not gonna rehouse this one yet because she probably isn't primal and the um the guy that sold me this one told me it probably is better to keep her in this one until she molts and then rehouse her so um she's gonna stay in this container till she uh till she molts i tried to feed her a cricket last night and all she did was giving tread poses and um grab tread poses so, um, yeah, probably she's in primo. Um, all right, on to the next. All right, the next I'm gonna rehouse is gonna go into this enclosure. Um, it does have a height, it doesn't really show up, but the height is right here, as you can see. Um, I put some dirt over it. Real simple enclosure, but um, I'm sure this species doesn't mind. As you can read the label, it's a Brachypelma albopilosum. Now, 
This is a sexed female Brachypelma albopulosum, and I didn't have one yet, so I thought it was time to get me one. Um, this one does like to flake hairs. The reason why I got this one is because I believe that a Brachypelma albopulosum is one of those tarantulas you just have to have in your collection. Um, they are awesome tarantulas, great feeders, they look great, they look totally different than any other tarantula with all those curly hairs. Um, of course this is the hobby form and not the true Nicaraguan form, but uh, hey, um, I like it. So um, sex female and for the price I had to pay for it, I, I just couldn't leave it there. You know, it was just too cheap. And as you can see, very relaxed. Um, she did kick some hairs when I opened the enclosure, but yeah, that's pure stress of the enclosure, having no space to hide and, and all that kind of stuff. But look at this girl. Isn't she amazing? She is so gorgeous. Look at her. I love them. I love the curly hairs. I never had one before. Yeah, a sling, but it died on me. <laughs> I have really no idea how you can kill a Brachypelma obopulosum sling because they are hardy as can be, but um, I messed up something, I guess. But look at this beautiful female. And I hope she'll be right at home in this enclosure. All right. Uh, on to the next. All right, next up is a Kilo uh Fimbriadis. As you can see, she made herself at home in this little pot, but um, I can't leave her in here. I need her in a bigger pot. I really hate these kind of pots. Um, so let's see if she wants to cooperate or he. Oh, there it comes. All right. Um, this is more than I bargained for. But it is in. Um, I did give this one a starter burrow and some moss. So the starter burrow is just to start her digging and the moss is to have given her some anchor points for her webbings. So um, yeah, let's see what she's going to do. It's of course going to be featured in the next feeding video so hopefully she'll have some webbing going on by then. Alright, on to the next. Okay, I just wanted to give you guys a better view on the Hopactera Cafre Riana. Look at how beautiful this species is. Look at it. Such a beautiful female. Look at those colors. Amazing. Um, I can't wait till she molts and she is a mature female. Um, as you can see, I did spray the web a bit, and I think that's why she's out. She's having a drink, which is cool. Um, when I gonna rehouse her, she's obviously gonna have a water bowl, but uh, yeah, okay. I just wanted to show you guys, okay, on to the next new one, okay. So, the next one I'm gonna rehouse that I got is a oh, C fee, which stands for Caribena Fursy Color. Now, the little burger is on top of the lid, oh, okay. So it jumped off the lid. Um, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, it's a little bit adventurous. But 
that's okay. Uh, so <laughs> I got it caught in this one. Uh, let's see if we can get it to go. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> it jumped in and it comes right out. Alright, I'm gonna close the lid on it real quick. <laughs> oh, such a cute little thing. Those little Avix. Okay, one moment, guys. Alright, she settled down. She's right there, right on below the flower, I guess you could say. Oh, let me point it. She's right there. So she's in the new enclosure. Awesome. Um, again, the Caribena versicolor, or well, if it glare, or whatever you want to call it. Um, don't worry, I just spread it out. It's not condensation, whatever. I just give it a little spritz. So it had something to drink. Um, Caribena is one of those species that, well, former avicularia, um, that you need to have in your collection, in my opinion. You know, it's just a fun little tarantula. All right, on to the next. All right, next up for the rear housings, a cereal pacopus oblastriatum rachaburi. I think rachaburi is the is a province or something. I don't know. But they uh, look a little bit different than the other um, almost three atoms. Um, I'm gonna do this kind of the same I did with the Neo Holothaliense gold. I'm gonna push it out of its hole into a other cup because I have no idea how else to do it. Uh, Okay, this is not going to be very interesting for you guys. One moment. Okay, so I got it in this little pot. Here it is. Cereal Pacopus Obostriatum Rachaburi. Um, so, let's hope it wants to uh, cooperate. I also did give this one a uh, starter burrow, so all right. Um, <laughs> This little bugger does not want to cooperate. All right, it's in its con new enclosure. It's right above its uh, pre-made burrow. So, Albo Stray Adam, Ratchaburi. It closes it off. Alright, on to the last, but certainly not least. Alright, so this one has the same type of enclosure setup as I did with the Neo Holofelli in say goal. Um, it's obviously a different range up, but um and it's the last new one that I got, but certainly not the least. I don't know if you can see that, but it says... No, you can't. It says, Chromotopelma cyanio pubescens. 
aka the green bottle blue. Now this is also one of those tarantulas. Um, which I think you need to have in your collection. And I didn't have it yet. Um, I'm having some difficulties getting the lid off because all the webbings are stuck to it. Let's see if I can get it to cooperate this way. Oh, <laughs> it attacks the... Wooden poker, but that should be okay. Beautiful. So, from a Tapelna Cyanio pubescence, female. Yes, this is also a sexed female. And it is one of those species that you just need to have in your collection, in my opinion. It still does not have the adult colors yet, but. Uh, it will be nice to see what she will do with this enclosure, how she will web it up, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see, we'll get to see this female mature. All right. Um, now there is something else I would like to show you guys. So hang on for one second. That is, I got this, oh, you can't see it really, I got this tall grass enclosure, which is 8x8 um, eight eight floor space and then 10 inches high. Um, my Pocleteria Metallica is in pre-mold. Um, if you have seen my last feeding video, yeah, you know that. Um, once she molds, she's gonna go into this. So um, there will be an awesome, exciting rehousing. Um, my next video that is gonna be coming should be a feeding video. Um, let me get this out of the way and get the green bottle blue in just to close it off on her. Amazing female, amazing species, and also one of those species you just need to have in your collection that I didn't have yet. So when I saw this, a sexed female, for the price, I just needed to get one. So, 10 new tarantulas, I had an awesome day at the show, needless to say. Um, thanks for watching, see you guys in my next video. I will be watching your videos and commenting on them, like always. Um, see you guys later. Bye-bye.